Lasso and Emoiapolis. A game of emotion. A game that fills you with a variety of feelings, like nostalgia, familiarity, comfort and calmness, but also fear, nervousness and discomfort. This game does it all, and it does this in the most genius way possible. Through liminal spaces. I'm sure you're familiar with liminal spaces, uh, there are these images of places that seem oddly familiar, but there's always something that's just a bit off. Like a mall that is uh, empty, or a school at night. And this game takes place in a liminal space. Specifically, a water park or spa that's lit and running, but has nobody in it. It gives you that perfect feeling when you're entering a water park. Uh, the constant hum of water, the strong smell of chlorine, you imagine it all, but uh, you are also flooded with discomfort when you realize uh, that you're completely alone. Or are you? Anyways, this is my playthrough of this game where I will give you my thoughts and uh, the overall experience. But this video will spoil basically the whole game, so if you have a PC, I highly recommend downloading Animeopolis and experiencing it for yourself. With that out of the way, Let's play! Alright guys, it's time to play through this game. Hey honey, I'm sure you're busy with work. Uh, just letting you know that I don't know when I'll be home tonight. The county put me on a last minute contract to survey this paper town in the middle of nowhere. A bunch of empty lots, I guess. The developers never built anything here. Anyways, for some reason we didn't realize that this place was sucking up like 15 times the amount of energy that it should be for like 30 years. You know, the usual bullshit. Um, anyways, still looking forward to the curry, but uh, don't be afraid to put it in the refrigerator. Love you. Bye. Alright, so that was the introduction. Yeah, I've played through this game a few times before, I just haven't really recorded my first playthrough. But I still just wanna... Oh, I still just wanna tour you through the experience. So, this is the game. We have a nice car, I can jump on top of it. Our character is, re is a really good jumper, I mean, yeah. This shouldn't take long, hopefully. The sad billboard. Yeah, I'm just gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be voicing him. Anime Apolis. Animoiapolis. Animoiapolis. I think that's it. <laughs> this is always funny. Animoiapolis, like, in the game knows that it's, like, super hard. For 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 you to say its name, so it actually teaches you how to say it. There's the transformer. Let's take a look. All right. So we're supposed to be. Wait a minute. Did somebody tamper with this? We're supposed to be looking at this. But yeah, it seems good, except for this. Like this definitely isn't supposed to be there. What is this even hooked up to? Who knows? It's like I never played this game. Actually, what is this? Is there like a forest here? I wanna see it. Alright, so... Yeah. Press E to interact with objects. Let's go interact- oh, Okay. Shit, 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 shit. There I go. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the game actually starts. This is where the fun begins. This place doesn't look I too nice. Right Where am I? God, at least the water's warm. 
But it, like, yeah, that's their main concern. If the water is warm. All right, let's see what he has to say. Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I mean, just look at the atmosphere of this place. It really, it really does give you a nostalgic sort of feel. Like, I feel like I've seen this before, even though I definitely haven't. It just gives off the familiar energy, but something is definitely wrong here. So I know how to get through this part because I've played through this game before, as I already said. It's not good, am I stuck down here? Well, yes. Because you see, the game actually isn't finished. So there is no way to actually leave this place right now. This is just an early preview. But I still wanted to talk about it. Because, like, the atmosphere this game gives is insane. This is a huge pool, like you would expect to see tens, maybe even close to a hundred people here, but there's no one. You're the only one here, and that's the scary thing about it. I might be able to rewire this access panel. Alright, let's try. Oh man, this is so hard. This is actually really difficult, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm gonna be able to rewire the access panel. Oh, I did it. Alright, so now we can get onto the bridge. Maybe I can bridge the gap in between here and that balcony. What we're gonna do is we're gonna retract the bridge to back here, and now we can do this jump. Hopefully, yes. Here we go. Sayonara, we are leaving this place behind. Right. Yeah, and these doors are all locked. I tried. We need an underground pool. Yeah, right. Like, can't you just have, like, one above ground? Because, like, this is so much architecture. That, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what is more costly. Digging up such a large amount of space or building it. Yeah. What I love about this game is just the constant mood switching. I might have to force my way out of here. No one's around here to let me out, of course. Yeah, I love the constant mood switching which it does on you. Basically, like, every, like, room has a completely different atmosphere than the previous one. Alright, what is this? We got this water gun. Alright, it's time to do a little bit of exploring. What's this? Alright, so once again, spoiler warning, this is how I solved the puzzle. I mean, we gotta get through the game eventually. But yeah, like this, this room, it's not as familiar, but it definitely gives off the vibe of like... I think I was here at some point, but I don't know when or where it was. But it's not that familiar. This one is a little more surreal than the other ones. Alright. So... I now messed up the door using this guy. Bro, and look at that mood switch. I mean, if I even go back, look at this. Just soak in the energy here and then go here. Well, like what? This game works so well. In this place also, it looks really freaky. I mean, the artificial sky and this tiny pool in the middle. All right, let's get into the lazy river then. Prepare for another mood switch after a loading screen because the lazy river is a huge place. All right, boys, welcome. Once again, huge mood switch. This place makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, dude, same. This one is a lot more familiar. It, it surely gives off the vibe of, like, I was here at some point. I definitely was here. I definitely have seen this. Like, that's the vibe it gives off, even though I haven't ever seen this. Alright. This was laid out with a lot of people in mind, alright. Oh, 
let's go. We're gonna skip the queue. And go through the water slide. Yay! This is so fun. Like, it, there could have been, like, better water slide physics, I think. But the game still works really well, and the graphics are also just amazing. Alright, so this is the lazy river. Should I go through there? Yeah, why not? Alright. Are those balconies? Alright, welcome to the lazy river. The thing is though, that when walking besides the lazy river, you're much faster. Bro, these fake lights as well. Like, everything... Especially this lazy river gives off the vibe like, oh man, I was here, I was here, and it is uh, also such like a comfort comforting and familiar atmosphere to be in, you know, just so calm and welcoming, but at the same time, this is so uncomfortable since you can just tell that something is off here. The thing is that, like, we're trying to find an exit. And I don't really see an exit here. You just see a bunch of these floaty thingies. Oh, there's a chair. I'm gonna go over here. Because this is definitely new. Whoa. This is the kiddie pool area. I totally remember these. I uh, love them like, standing on these and just getting absolutely soaked for no reason at all. And this, like this is such a familiar thing. Such a familiar thing. Like, I remember that there was this like, uh, pool place. Water park, you could say, that I would go to with my mom like, very often when I was a little kid. And the, it had one of these, and it was like my favorite place. I was there just constantly under here, and I remember trying to get up the pole multiple times. I almost got to the top. An infinite loop. Oh wow, this is new. Alright, I do not want to continue down the lazy river. But yeah, like, you can see that something is off. Like, this uh, lazy river is just uncomfortably long. I actually never noticed this, but these windows are dark. While well, all of the other ones are lit up. It's kind of eerie. Okay, let's check out this slide. Whee! Stamp only. Finally we found something to progress, but we definitely want to go down this slide. I've tried before on the same model, and I couldn't go down the slide, so we gotta try again. That's the time. Okay, let's try it. Oh, no, 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 go down. Yes! I made it! I made it, let's go. Alright, I guess it's time to go into the staff only room. The staff only room, apparently it is an endless black void. So yeet! No, it's not actually an endless black void, it's a loading screen! Bro, and they immediately drop this drastic of a mood switch on you, bro! This? This must be some kind of water reservoir. Oh my god, you're so smart, I would not have figured that one out. But yeah, this, this sort of room... It gives off a super weird vibe, because it's not familiar in the slightest, but, it's, but in some way it still triggers nostalgia. I have no idea how that's done. Alright, let's check out this door. Oh, uh, this one is closed. Can't go there. But actually, through these hallways, it does give off the energy of, you know, of like, I've been here before. 
All right, so this is another electrical puzzle. Let's see. So I'm guessing that after I solve this, I'm gonna have to follow the wire, and at the end of the wire, something will happen. Now, let's check out this room real quick, though. Whoa. 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 Now that looks insanely terrifying. Just a bottomless pit filled with water. And when you jump into it, you almost enter a black screen. Like this game, it gives off a really cool vibe. In this hallway, like this is something I feel like most of us already experienced just like walking down this dark hallway and then just having this bright discord light mode uh, light at the end. And this, once again, such a drastic mood switch. Ooh. There's a weird thing there. But like, I also think, I also feel like I have walked down or swam down a hallway with this exact pattern. Like, this is insanely familiar but unfamiliar at the same time. There's another wire? Of course there is. Oh yeah, that one leads to close the door. Bro. But this, this is a place I definitely want to show you guys. I remember it. This pool right here, it's been like the subject of many liminal space images, but it looks so uncomfortable. When you swim down, there's literally like a cage. And don't worry, you cannot drown. You can't drown in this game, I tried. Alright. I'm gonna solve another one of these. Once again, huge mood switch, even though it doesn't look like it because these rooms are awfully similar, but man does it hit different. Like over here, you see also like all the patterns, and this is like semi-familiar, still kind of looks like you could have been here. And then this is just something completely out of this world. Nothing about these pools makes any sense. So true. Let's go. So over here you can open these lockers, but spoiler alert, there's nothing in them. There's no reason to open these. But like, once again, a hint that something is very wrong. Why are there lockers there? Like, you go upstairs here, and you just end up in a different pool area. Bam! Another ginormous mood switch. This is something... This sort of room or architecture is something I have never seen, personally. It's not familiar to anything I experienced in my life. But... It still looks familiar for some reason. It just gives off such a weird vibe. It is so uncomfortable when you're just in here alone. You feel like you are in some sort of an evil lair. You feel like you don't belong here. But if there were people, it would be completely normal. It would be more than normal. Alright, I just fell into this pool. This one is also like uncomfortably deep. Who would build such a deep pool? Alright, now it's time to do this. Can't believe I'm about to do this. Sure am, let's go. Climbing down this water slide. Bam, here we are. 
No, but this like puts you into a glass cage. I don't understand this architecture. This is something liminal space images love. Just some architecture that is very wrong. By the way, you cannot go up this slide. Yeah, it blocks you. But, like, liminal spaces often have this nonsensical architecture. Like, this place has no exit. How do you get out? You can't. The only way to get out is to climb up this water slide. Um, I actually had this game spoiled for myself because I watched a lot of YouTube videos on it before I actually uh, tried to play it. But it's still, in my first playthrough, it still felt so good. Like, it felt how it is supposed to. It felt like a liminal space. And it still does. An exit, finally. Yeah. Let's go. It's dingy in here. <laughs> Describe it as a different way. Alright, exit. Suppose we have to follow the exit signs. Crazy. Like, this is so dark. Keep moving. No, install will turn on the sink. Keep moving. Well, is there someone in here with me? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, exit. Let's go. Man, this... this is... Wait... What was that? Okay, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Please tell me. Okay, alright, um... Yeah, this has suddenly turned into a horror game, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, um, uh, okay. For some reason, I actually haven't seen that thing before. Guess there was like a glitch or something. Okay. Um, where is the exit sign? Please, please tell me I'm going the right direction. I do not want to turn around. Exit, please. Show me an exit. Oh my god. Exit. Where is it? Man. Oh! Oh, I found it! Alright, 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 all right. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, that... that now that... was really weird, huh? Something is very wrong. Oh, you don't say. What was that in the locker room? No clue. Ooh, but this, this room, I like the aesthetic of it. For some reason, even though it's completely empty, it still feels very welcoming. Like, I would want to be here even if alone. I don't know. I guess I'm just weird. Even though this is just a beta version, it's already such a game-like experience. Gonna have to climb this thing, aren't I? Well, oh, let's get to it. Damn. Get me up there. Alright. Alright, now we're... Now we're entering Among Us territory through these vents. No, no, de now we are definitely entering Among Us territory. Oh. What the hell? Have I just created a flying carpet? I mean, this is just a beta. Has to have some bug fixing happen. Alright, now this place feels lemonless as hell. If you've ever seen a liminal space, you know this is how it looks like. 
should speed run this game. Using this new strategy. Ooh. An exit, finally? Well, no. Thank you for playing the Animiapolis <laughs> Chapter 1 Beta. The other 50% is still on the way. As a solo developer, these, season, these things take time. Uh, in the meantime, feel free to explore. This level is under construction, but go ahead and look around. You will not be able to progress to the next level until the final game release. To weigh, to weigh, to wet your uh, your appetite, there are some images of what is yet to come. Well, guys, we have played through this game, and we have ended up in a place that looks uh, very uncomfortably like the back rooms. And in this place, we say our goodbyes to Animoyapolis, a truly amazing game with its great graphics and emotion. The liminal feeling it gives you with all that nostalgia, familiarity, but also uh, nervousness and uh, discomfort is amazing. And I highly recommend you checking out the game for yourself if you have a PC, because this is an amazing experience. An amazing experience which is best experienced on your own. So, I'll see you next time.